plan for this trip is to catch a train from Houston Station in Dublin over to Galway City and then to cycle from Galway City to Furbo and stay with a friend and the next morning cycle from Furbo out to Russell and then to catch the boat from Russell over to Inishman. It's a lovely morning so far. On my way down through Kilmainham, nearly at Houston Station to catch the train. Eight in the morning, and I'm just in Spiddle on my cycle out to Russellville. The rain has held off so far, but I don't think I'm going to be so lucky now for the next hour and a half or so, and the rest of my cycle. If you're not familiar with the Aran Islands, they're, they're a group of three islands off Galway. There's Inish Moor, which is the biggest, Inish Ear, which is the smallest, Oops. and Inish Man is the middle island and of middle size. So I've been on all three Aran Islands. I've, I've never camped on them though. So I was last on Inish Man about, I think it was about five or six years ago. I stayed in a and b don't know what came over me. I think it was right at the start of when I was starting to wild camp. Anyway, Inishman is really the less popular island in terms of tourist traffic. Um, and it's by far my favorite of the, the three Aran Islands. If you like being in places where you feel very alone and just spending time with yourself and nature then Inishman is the place to go well, that's my memory of it anyway uh, there's less than 200 people living on the island um, it's it's just so much quieter than the the other Aran Islands it's my kind of place so I'm hoping I have that kind of experience out here i had been looking forward to this trip for a couple of weeks I've been watching the weather and I eventually had enough of waiting. Uh, the sense of adventure was too strong. So I've come out, the weather isn't that great and it's going to be disastrous potentially for me today. Um, but I don't care, I'll have a couple of hours tomorrow. It's two o'clock in the afternoon and I have my tent set up already. I'm at a spot known as Sing's Chair, which is a wonderful lookout point. Uh, it's a bit too overcast now to really show off the view, but hopefully I get a chance to do that tomorrow. Uh, if the view is good enough for Sing, I think it'll be good enough for me. But I just wanted to actually just show you something about my Brompton, my fold up bike. So, I have the bike all folded and it fits into my porch 
and my two bags are there. So they're all protected from the elements and then I use the other porch for cooking in. I got the inspiration for this trip of going on a, a little tour with my Brompton from uh, a video that arrived in my feed a couple of weeks ago. A woman called Susanna Thornton who got a ferry from Hollyhead over to Dublin with her Brompton bike and she went from Dublin up to Donegal with her Brompton and wild camped along the way. Uh, so she, I think she did this trip in August or September and it's a, a beautiful video and it really really inspired me and there hasn't been too many women who wild camp who who inspire me and there's plenty of women in the UK who go wild camping and do far more adventurous things than me and um, but I just never really connected with them but uh, when I saw Susanna's video I just loved the style of what she does and I immediately thought I need to get the Brompton out and do a trip. I did it once before. I did the Greenway from Westport to Ackle two summers ago and I loved it. And I suppose this summer it was all about the mountains of Mayo and Donegal and I wanted to explore them. But I'll definitely do future trips again with the Brompton. It's a great way to travel. Um, I also just want to make, uh, just say a couple of thank yous to a couple of YouTubers who've been very supportive and very encouraging and kind to me in recent months. That's Jerry, walk, walking and wild camping in Ireland, Colin, frozen mist while camping Ireland, Mark while camping Ireland, Jason rambling on, Martin Soul Trail. There's, there's many others, but I'm, I'm, I'm just going to pick out those five. <laughs> I think it's five at the moment. I um, actually did a wild camp with Martin Soul Trail um, and a couple of his buddies, Craig, Jeremy and Ian, a couple of weeks ago. 
down in Kerry, we camped in a storm, knowing that there was a storm coming, but it was wonderful. Anyway, um, just thank you to all of you for all your encouragement and support. It's been really, really nice. And for anyone who's ever watched <laughs> any one of my videos and made a comment, it's just so lovely and so uplifting and inspires me when I hear from anyone. So thank you to anyone who's ever left me a com comment or even just watched a video. Thanks a million.